Hi everyone, it's Linda with StampWithLindaWalsh.com. I wanted to show you how I made this cute little card. This is um, the faux clouds in the background that I wanted to show you. And um, just a little bit of um, how to use a stamp magic for these little um, cutie guys here. So let's get started and we'll start with, we're going to start with the base of our card with the um, grass. And so let's take our piece of paper and all I did was I took two random, these are certainly celery pieces, and I'm just going to cut just little random hills, just like so. And the same with this one. Okay, and then I'm just going to piece them together like this. And also when you make your, uh, these are just scraps, so make them the length of your piece. This is actually three and three quarters by five. Alright, so I'm just going to do something like that. I'm going to piece these together now. Okay. I actually want this a little higher. Even though I'm using like a grid paper, I really don't want... Uh, grid paper doesn't really simulate grass, so... I want to cover it up a little bit. Just to give it a little bit of texture, I just used two different kinds of paper. So we're going to put this right on. Oops, I just banged the camera. Okay, so there's that part. So let's do um, the stamp of magic. So I want to put on my little figures here and I'm doing that next because once I do my clouds I really don't want the clouds to have um, to show up through their faces so I'm gonna actually put my clouds around these little guys alright so let's go on to the Stampamajig here it is you get a plastic sheet and then this T and see this little that's what I refer to the T I'm gonna slide the plastic piece into that T part now you'll see figures already on here. I've actually already gone ahead and done this part, but I'm going to show you again because it doesn't really matter um, if I stamp over this. So let's get her dress. And I'm just going to put the um, stamp right in the center, um, right in the T part too. And I went down and there's my figure. So then what I want to do, I want to place her, I'm just going to place her right here. Put these two guys in the middle. And see how I'm just lining it up over the um, the grass? I don't care if this piece is crooked like this. Say I want my girl flying through the air. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about whether that's straight. You just want wherever you want your um, stamped image to be is where you're going to put it. And now I'm going to line this back up into the T part. And take that Take the plastic away, re-stamp your image, put it back in the T, and down you go. And then there's her, um, there's her body. Now I noticed, I didn't stamp as well, I'm going to take the black fine part and see your little fingers didn't come out too good. That's what's pretty good about these, you can kind of add your own little fingers and no one knows the difference. So let's go on to her face. I chose this with little pigtails because I thought she was cute. And I'm going to bring back in this. I'm going to use my other corner now because you don't have to clean it off. you got four corners here. I'm going to line that right into the teapot again. I'm going to stamp it down. And then there's my image on there. I'm going to line her head up with the body. Like that. See how my thing is crooked? I don't really care. Put my T square back in, ink up my image, put it back, put the thing just like that. See? And there's her head on top of her body. How cute is she? So I'm just going to go do the um, boy. Now I already did this, so I'm just going to bring him in. I'm going to put him, yeah, we'll put him right here. The reason why I'm kind of hesitating is I'm trying to think how I want the balloons to go up in the air. So maybe I'll do one like that and one like that. That might be kind of cute. Okay, 
Okay, and I got his little head already done, so I'm just going to put that on top of his body. Bring in my teapot and bring it down. There's my two little cute kids. Adorable. Let me bring in the card again. So now what we're going to work on is our clouds. We're going to do the background now. So when I do my um, my clouds, I have, I keep this little um, binder with all like important things I want to remember. But what I did too, see, I don't know if you can see, here's an example of my clouds. What I use to create the clouds is the 2 and 3 eighths um, scarlet punch. You're going to cut out four of them and just glue them together. I know I have swirls on mine. I just use scrap paper because I didn't really care. And I'm going to keep this. And what I did was I used Velcro and I just put it onto my little, my little um, binder thing here. So whenever I need it, I just take it off and I'm ready to go. So what I'm going to do is take Bashful Blue, not Bashful Blue, I'm sorry, um, Baja Breeze, and I'm just going to take all my, my scallop circles that I glued together, and just going to randomly place them, and I'm just going to do a little sponging. By the way, um, these are the Stampin' Up! sponges, and I just cut the, they come in a big circle, and I cut it uh, in quarters. So here's a little bit of sponge, and I don't know if you can see that. And we're going to just move it around again. You can tell I've used this a lot. I have different color blues on it. Say I want to bring it in something like this, and just turn it all around. It just gives you a little different cloud cover as you're turning it. Right, and you want to make sure you leave some white. Let's see if I can do this quicker. I'm, a, I'm actually a slow stamper. I like to um, just go slow and just see what I'm doing. But I'll try and move it along. I'm going to do something like this. Now the reason why I'm doing my clouds last is, like I said, I want to not put the clouds over my bodies of my little people. Let me bring this in again, see if you can see the difference. See how the difference makes? This is all white. It just gives it that nice little subtle background. It's awesome. I love it. And I also did a scrapbook page that I will show you pictures of at the end. Um, how you can use this for scrapbook pages just to give it that extra, that extra something. Especially on like those nature pages, this would be great for. Alright, I'm coming down to my guys here. So what I'm going to do is just cover his head. Just do a little bit. Cover the sides here. Okay. So let's just cover his little arm up. And do just a little bit over here. And then I'm going to try and get in between a little bit here. I kind of put them a little bit close, but just so they get a little a little blue in there so it doesn't look totally white all around them. And then the same with this. Okay. All right, great. So we have our little faux clouds, and here's my um, close-up of it. Now for the um, Happy Valentine's, I also did do that with, um, that's with the Teeny Tiny Wishes set, and I did that with the Stampin' My Jig also. But first, I want to just make sure I want to place my hearts. And this is the Heart to Heart Punch, and it's also our Glimmer Paper in the 2011 Occasions Catalog. I love this paper. I wish they'd come out with it in every single color. Um, but if they did that, then they would take away all their other glitter products, wouldn't they? Because <laughs> this is just awesome paper. And here, let me give you a, a little look at it. This one I've been using, so it's cut down. But look at how shiny that is. Can you see that glimmer? It's awesome, and the stuff doesn't even come off either. Uh, so what I usually do, 
is I'll do strips. And I did this for another project. Our punches go through this seamlessly. It's awesome. It's great. And I noticed one of my hearts has a little, I didn't cut the whole full heart out. So this is all I did. Look at how easy this goes through. It's like the punches are just, it's like butter. Butter, butter. Alright, so say I kind of like one over here, one a little bit higher. So then I can put that. That looks good to me. <clears throat> so I'll just glue these down now while I have them placed here. Yeah. And you want to make sure when you're putting down your balloons or your hearts, however you want to call them, that you your string can run through so it doesn't run over them. I mean, you can do that, but I don't like it that way. I like my strings to be, um, you know, not tucked behind a bow. I mean, a balloon, a bow. What am I talking about? Okay these little guys and then for this I just took my black marker I took the thin end because we also have the um, the brush end and then this is the 0.5 millimeter end and then I'm just going to take this and do some swirlies like so and he's holding his bouquet of balloons Okay, beautiful. Let's bring in my real red, because also that glimmer paper is in real red, by the way, just to, in case you didn't know that. So I'm just going to, I already stamped, once again, I'm going to put this in the middle. Take my tiny wishes, bring it down, and there you go, there's my stamped image. So let's line this up. Let's see where I'd like this. That's right there. Okay. Re-ink. Let's see how I did. Beautiful. It's hard to do it with the camera in the way, so um, so there is that card. So then we'll just put it on our real red piece so we can bring in the real red. And I'm just going to put this on top of our card. The base is um, pretty in pink. Okay. All right, let me bring in the other card because I actually colored in this part with the little, the little kids. I'm not going to do that on the camera. You guys can figure out whatever colors you like. I just tried to bring in the greens and the pink. Um, I think my next one, though, I'll probably color his shorts blue to kind of bring in the sky a little bit. So thank you for watching my tutorial, and I'll post the scrapbook page also um, so you can get an idea for that. And thank you again for joining me. I'll see you soon.